distance, the last baleful rays of the setting sun paint the mountains a glistening red. Or perhaps they're on fire. <laughs> All bleeding in the fading light, it's hard to tell. As I back away from the slavering beast, the wet ground beneath my heels crumbles and with a lurch I look down to the stormy waters below. Stormy waters broken by thrashing limbs, glistening suckers and razor sharp beaks. Great. Just great. And I really thought my day couldn't get any worse. I take a sideways step onto firmer ground and duck as the ghostly form wails down from above. Between the advancing Hellhound, the Banshee flying through the gloomy night air, and the host of sea monsters waiting far below, there isn't a heck of a lot of space left for me. I tap the gizmo around my wrist, willing it to glow green. No such luck. It stays suddenly dark, an unknown and possibly unknowable force blocking the emergency teleport signal. Talon claws catch at my hair and enveloped in musty graveyard air. I shrink away from the banshee's soul-sapping touch, and the coal fire eyes of the hellhound flick upwards. It seems the wailing woman has his attention as well. As the banshee sweeps in once again, I reach out, grab a cold bony limb, shout, here boy, and toss it over the cliff. The beast bounds past, mouth again, all puppy dog enthusiasm, a thick trail of saliva hitting me wetly in the face as its teeth wrap around the screeching banshee and they plunge together to then tentacular doom. There's a moment's blissful silence and I dare to hope that maybe, just maybe, I might survive this ordeal after all. Assuming I can find the spot where my teleport works, while there's still enough juice to get me out of here. How terribly uncouth! A discorporate voice hisses each word in alternate ears as a black winged form flickers in and out of existence. Now I'll have to think of an even better ending. <laughs> <laughs>